It's no secret the medical field has traditionally been male-dominated in the U.S. When I was growing up, it was much of the same. In fact, it was a lot worse, especially for black women. Thankfully, I'm the daughter of an educated father and hardworking mother who were extremely supportive and stubborn enough to believe that despite this country's bigotry and sexism, a black woman could achieve greatness. So that's what I set out to do. After graduating from medical school at Howard University in 1968, and completing a fellowship in ophthalmology at Columbia University in 1970, I figured I could lend a hand to find the solution to a problem I noticed during my schooling and training. At Harlem Hospital, where I once interned, nearly half of the black patients were blind or visually impaired. But at Columbia Eye Clinic, where white patients were treated, the blindness rate was much lower. What I determined through further research was that this disparity was largely due to a lack of access to ophthalmic care for black people. So here's what I did. First, I helped with the launching of eye surgery services at Harlem Hospital's eye clinic. Then in 1981, I invented the laser phaco probe, which was patented seven years later, making me the first African-American female doctor to secure a medical patent. The tool was used during eye surgery to correct cataracts in a more precise, less invasive, and less risky process. Since then, I've been named chair of the ophthalmology residency training program at Drew UCLA, making me the first woman in the country to hold that position. So after all this vision talk, I guess it's only right now you get to see who I am. I am Patricia Bath.